Gary, the big debate in football currently is whether or not it should return this season. Hull City have reportedly written to the EFL today um, saying that the season should be voided. In your opinion, should the Championship return or not? Um, no, look, I think all the managers' side of it. Um, we had a Championship managers' meeting um, the other day and I think we're all in agreement. You know, we want to complete the season. You know, I think that's the right thing to do. So I think we're all in agreement with that. But then, obviously, we've been waiting a long, long time for the guidelines and some instruction, which we've not had for, you know, pretty much all the way through. It's only really gathered pace in probably the last week. Um, and then, yeah, the first real directive came pretty much this week in terms of a re po you know possible return date, which would be the 25th. So there's still some things the EFL need to, in terms of the phase one, two and three, need to be signed off. But that's the first time the EFL have given us a, a, a more definite date of a return to training. So going back to your question, should we complete the season? Yeah, I think we're all in agreement. We want to do that. I think that's the right thing to do and finish it on the pitch. But obviously there's a lot of things that need to be signed off and agreed and a few grey areas still there um, that needs to be worked out, really. So the 25th, is that the planned date at the moment for when you could potentially return to training? That's what I'm planning. Um, that's what we've been told by the EFL. Um, like I said, there's still, um, I think phase one has been allowed. Phase two, we're still waiting on that to be signed off. We're hoping, you know, I looked at it yesterday where Premier League teams are allowed to go back into training today to phase two. So in your mind, even though it's not been officially told us in the, you know, in the championship that we can do that yet, um, if they've gone back into phase two, then probably the thinking, the logic thinking would be is we'll be able to return on that 25th, which the EFL have told us we can do or potentially can do um, in a more definite manner than anything before is, um, yeah, to go back into phase two. Obviously, we need phase three to come, which we can talk about, which is the main part, which is basically like normal training. Um, unless we get to that point, then, yeah, of course, we can't complete the season if we can't get to phase three. But hopefully we can go back in on the 25th to to phase two and they'll be testing just before that but again we're waiting for all official clarification on that so really I've just been working on what I can control which is aiming for that 25th and what we can do if we return to small group training and plan that you know from that point onwards really Player and staff safety is obviously going to be paramount one of your players Sam Winnell revealed that he tested positive for coronavirus have any other players tested positive I don't expect to name names but have any other players tested positive and are you confident that clubs will be able to keep their players and staff safe if, if there is a return to training? Well, what, one of the protocols that um, should be signed off, I'm told it should be signed off this week, is before we return on that 25th at this, probably later on this week, everyone will be tested. So um, as part of the protocols that have been put in place, so all staff and all players will be tested. Um, and in terms of um, other players from before, um, there's been players with symptoms, but we haven't used tests or anything like that. So it's unknown at this point. But I think maybe the, the protocol of this week where everyone will be tested will tell us whether we've had it or you know, players have had it um, before or have got it now. Um, that's part of the protocols to be allowed then to go back in on Monday. So um, that test on whether it comes Thursday or Friday will, will probably give us the information on what we've had, you know, if we've had anything from before, if we've got anything at the moment. Troy Deeney has revealed that he won't return to train at Watford. Have any of your players suggested that they're unwilling to train and how will the club handle that situation if it arises? No, look, um, I had the foot, obviously I've been keeping the players updated all the way through. Um, like I said, this is the first time we've had anything really official, any real guidance from the EFL um, in terms of this return date. Um, and I had my first... Um, proper meeting about that. Um, we've, been wait we've been waiting for that to speak to the players. So I spoke to all the players last night on a on a Zoom call. Um, and at that point, there was obviously we went through all the protocols and all the things, how that would reflect onto us and how that, um, what you call it, how that looks for us and what that would mean to us, what we would need to follow. And then in terms of questions at the end, there was a few questions on, on testings and stuff like that, normal stuff, but there was no um, chat just yet or any reservations to return into training just yet so no no issues at the moment with, with the players but I think on that part of it um, I think we have to understand that you know I think football players are portrayed I think they've been portrayed particularly poorly during this period if I'm honest with you of what I've read I think the human beings 
got the same problems as everyone else, same issues as everyone else, same concerns as anyone else. Um, and if a player has an issue or has a feeling that there's certain things that are a risk for him or, or for their families or whatever, you have to consider that and have to understand that. I think that's the same for everyone. And I think, you know, speaking to the club, we would understand those situations. We've had none of that yet, um, as of yet. But if that came along, um, I think the right thing to do is to do right by what, what that player or even staff, whoever that is, what they feel. But um, we'll go through that with them and see if we'll cross those bridges when we come to it.